both to <laughs> shed some light. Gentlemen, welcome to Hot 96. Thank you very much. Thank Jeff. You. Good to see you guys. So, okay, today is the deadline, right? For filing. Yep. And so far, do we know if there's any, <laughs> there's any, any sign of filing? <laughs> any signs of filing? <laughs> There have been signs. If you mm. see the way Jubilee is acting, mm. you know there are signs. Mm -hmm. You see many, many NGO heads have been summoned to mm. some corners of, <laughs> of the country. Are you saying some, some arms are being twisted? Correct. You got it right. Mm. Your vocabulary is very wide. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 Yes. So when you see that happens, mm. when you see President Uhuru Kenyatta extend an olive branch to Rail Odinga, unfortunately while sitting, mm. then you know they want a, a scenario in which those petitions don't reach the Supreme Court. Okay. So you're saying that body language said a lot? Everything. It said everything that needed to be said. In fact, I wish they did that before 26th. It should have sent much, much more. But after 26th, if, if, if we took it seriously and went by it, then you know we are going to have a scenario where we are going to talk when President Uhuru is already sworn in and president with the current and existing constitution. Mm. Even if you talk, you can't obtain much from him. Dr. Sami Karanja, yeah? uh, any of these filings, will, will they hold water, for lack of a better word? Uh, it's their constitutional rights. And remember the day the president was being uh, declared the winner, he said, please if there is any uh it's always good to have the law and to have the systems in place mm. and that's what the president asked if there's anyone who wants to go to court let them finish going to court and uh, then from there any discussion we can we can continue what my friend here much mm. is really refuting mm. they will still want to go they, there's what they like about going to the to throw stones uh, to the equity to the <laughs> uh, to the safaricom and uh, and they are calling it boycott <laughs> and i don't know what boycott is it throwing stones to uh, but we will see uh, which also their strategy yes it's a strategy they are using so that they can have a a, a good bargain mm -hmm. you know that nusu thing eh? mm. that, that's, that's 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 the strategy to get the nusu you thing think the the ultimate the whole goal. goal. The yeah. ultimate goal is no so thing. Because one thing, if, even if you put the mathematics, the political strategy that uh, th that are there, mm. Raila will not still get a clinch. Where how depend uh, following the the, the the events that have happened. Mm -hmm. So and he knows and he's a sharp, he's a sharp man advised by sharp friends here like Mishimu Awidi. <laughs> that let us not go for the election now that they they boycotted even the election. They say they will not go for the election mm. of 26th mm. so that they do not want it to be measured because also it could have come out clearly. Mm. Now, today it's uh, midnight. We'll be able to see if they will they'll be able to sponsor something. Uh, though they are broke. That's the only unfortunate thing. Uh, already, uh, sorry. Uh, and then from there, then we can be able to see from tomorrow. <laughs> if, and, and, and this thing of uh, uh, Mutata, mm -hmm. uh, which is not really focused on on, on, on the real challenging the election. Mm. It's only that it is uh, number 18 of the Supreme Court uh, work that's supposed to be done and the response will happen. So, uh, by and large, we can see and I uh, wish to tell Kenyans, this is, let's take it as part of our parcel of life. Mm. Let's not get be frightened. Let's continue working. Enjoy Hot Night 6 wherever you are. Mm. Uh, let's go to work. Let's work. Mm. You get the other person who's thinking different. Yeah. Because now we don't even need to start saying this one is NASA or whatever. Mm. We are friends, right? You can see how we are in this studio. That's we, we are together. We are one. Correct. We are happy. We are continuing. Yeah. So, But the issue of the presidential, if they don't, if for they don't get enough, you know, they, there's also some money to be paid. Eh? Mm. I don't know if they, they are broke, but because if you talk to me <laughs> we can see what to do <laughs> then from there then we can arrange on <laughs> on, on, on jubilee on <laughs> <laughs> let's go like, what you believe on I think so we can see what mm? you know he has not talked he's waiting me to offer another olive black <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, you guys are broke okay. Are you? Okay. Speak. okay 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 mm -hmm. I think we are broke, but <laughs> <laughs> but I think just five hundred to file five thousand to find that case yeah. uh, that we do have. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But but I don't think it is our intention to do that. Mm. But I wanted to begin from where he started. Mm. He started that uh, in the other side where I come from, mm. we throw stones, we burn <laughs> tires, we break <laughs> things, and we are very bad and primitive people. <laughs> but let me tell you, there is nobody as primitive as a man who burns a whole congregation in church. There is nothing as primitive as men who burn whole families with children and women in a house as happened in Naivasa in 2007. So let's not brand our other sides which we don't favor as primitive throwing stones. 
That's uh, true. Yeah. So l- let's look at each other as having weaknesses which are equivalent or worse than ours. Mm-hmm. So that we can have a Kenya where we can sit and speak and agree on issues. Mm-hmm. Coming to offer an olive branch at a time when it is just a day to be declared the president. What is that dialogue going to achieve? The only thing that NASA wanted is a free, fair, credible and verify election. That dialogue should have come before 26th of October so that we agree on how we are going to have that. Okay, Moshimiwa, that never came. That never and came. And now NASA is a resistance movement. Correct. What does that mean? That means they are sending a message. When students go on strike in a school, they are sending a message to the administration. They are sending a message to Kenyans and, 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 and the two who are grabbing power, that's what I call it, that, you know, we are many. And our actions can bring this country to a level that now you voluntarily agree to talk to us. You voluntarily agree that we have a fair playing field. That is what the message we are sending. But to come and call it economic sabotage is double speak. Because there is nothing that can be as economic sabotage as killing 300 cattle belonging to the poor. And then the police is coming to tell us, you know, these people were hiding behind the cattle. After they had felled the 300 cattle, did they find the herders? Did they shoot even one? How do you hide behind a cow? You hang on to the stomach or where do you hide? (laughs) (laughs) And you see, I expected even the president to talk about that. 300 cattle. That is the worst economic sabotage you can have in any nation. So let, let's not talk when it favors us. Mm-hmm. Let's not talk about dialogue because now you want peace so that you jump back on the gravy train and enjoy it for another five years. Let's have a Kenya where I am not the president, my clansman is not the president, but I know my rights are safeguarded, my privileges are in place, but not a country where NHIF wakes one day and announces we are going to have you pay 1800 per year, but we are only going to provide services worth 6000 And then when the public complains is when you say, let's talk about it as if you didn't know about it. This is the Kenya we are trying to correct. Mm. This is the Kenya why we want to have a dialogue with the government, IBC, and everybody else. But is anybody listening, Dr. Sami? Is anybody listening? Because mm. it looks like you, both sides are pulling, are, or they're talking at each other. Yes, correct. Not to each other. Mm. Doctor, and Jeff, listen to one thing. Go on. President Uhuru greeted Raila sitting down for the first time I ever saw. He always hugged. They always had. You, th- you thought but that said a he lot. He sat down as if he was glued there. Uh, that doesn't happen. Oh. These guys politically, they are peers. Okay. In any case, Uhuru is yet to be sworn in as president. Stanley loves this guy. By the way, before you continue, um, if he's sworn in, uh, CIA Senator James Orengo yesterday said, mm-hmm. if President <laughs> Kenyatta is sworn in, mm-hmm. then... NRM will swear in President Raila. How does that work? Uh, when you read so much about history and uh, go to the Napoleon's time, you'll see these are the things that happen in power games where you even dis- you disregard the current uh, laws that are existing. And that's what exactly NASA is doing. Mm-hmm. That's how they have even gone to a resistant movement. You can see even the, the way they are wearing now. They are wearing some green kind of things. You see, uh, like yesterday in the rally in Kibera, they are now they have they have stopped the orange thing. Now they are doing jungle, jungle green, showing now it's wartime. But they don't mean it. They can't sustain. Uh, this is all uh, a beginning, a beginning trick. It's a it's a negotiation strategy. And all this, even if you are free, fair, credible, if you ask sincerity, will you win? You will not win. So what do you want? We want to be part of the government. And this is the discussion that Kenya need to have. How do we be able to accommodate each other if we did not succeed when we did the constitution? And that's where the issue is right now. Nobody's talking about the governors. Everybody has concentrated on uh, on the presidency. Does it mean it's only Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta who had the voters register in his pocket? All the other 47 governors, uh, they did free, fair, credible. And him... He only went to an IBC body, he like anybody else, and uh, and you see those are the things that Kenyans we need to appreciate and mm. have a discussion, mm. not dialogue of only two people. All of us we need to start dialogue. But now what they have done is to be able to make sure that uh, the Raila factor and the so they put two uh, high pressure 
uh, bodies that the discussion can start coming and that's why they're saying that uh, uh, on when if who are gonna be sworn in and I think they may not even take anything to court so that they want to see this day coming very fast because if then then that's the strategy uh, 14th is the day that uh, who then should be sworn in. That's mm. they should the assumption office should plan this to so in uh, next week, yeah. And they would wish also to do so many things before then, but also they may before midnight. You know, they, they are very good at coming the last minute. You know, they have lawyers already doing those things which they offer voluntary service, right? Pesa. So they, they must be preparing <laughs> just a minute before midnight. They will come with those uh, pickups of, uh, okay. of, 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 of these things so that they can push this thing to another 14 days. They will have been. They'll see which strategy will work. And don't forget, Baba's da going to the U.S. today. That's yes, true. and also Baba going is also a strategy. Is this the 16th law of power? Whereby you, you, you when you're away, mm. then people can miss you. So when you come back, maybe it will be the swearing-in day. Uh, these are also st strategies, and we appreciate. And we are one Kenya. We love one another. And we must continue. I, I, think, I think you are underestimating the, 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 the goings on in Kenya today at your own peril. Take it very seriously and spend sleepless nights on it. <laughs> First of all, there is no reason why anybody <laughs> should go to court so early in the day when you know once you have filed something, you can't add any new evidence there. So you wait until you have everything under your lock and key. Then you take it to Maraga and wait. There is nothing that IEBC did in this election that is better than the first one. So if there were any reason for the first one to have been nullified, I can tell you for free that this is going to be nullified. You are talking about, we are forgotten about governors, we are all concentrating on the presidency. Let me tell you, the powers of the presidents in this country, even if you had a thousand governors, it is not worth one president. But let me also tell you that this election was rigged in the style that I have never seen before. Because you sit down <laughs> years before the election and decide that we need majority MPs, we need majority governors, and we need majority senators. So that when we actually go there, we have a bargaining point. So, you so say that, that when we go to this assembly... You say that was rigged? Of course. Several MPs, several, they rigged enough to, have, to make them have majority Dr. in Stanley both Karanja, assemblies. Could that be true? Senate and the National Assembly, and everywhere else. Because you remember when Krigler came to Kenya? Yes. One of the questions he asked, how did Kibaki win when he doesn't even have MPs? So these people knew. They used history very well. <laughs> that I congratulate you. <laughs> and I think you learned from the past very well. But it's very important to, I think, uh, as we are continuing, <laughs> it's good for people to have money. Because if NASA had money, they could have paid for agents. And then all the agents... 40,300, was mm. it 880? Mm. When was then, that? 8th or 26th? On 8th. Whereby you could have come with exact numbers that our agents, this is what they did. Mm. They never, they, they, I think, being broke. No, let, because let, now, <laughs> they always say that there was rigging, but they don't have facts. Yeah. Because they could have helped the country. I'm a governance expert. If they I would had, wish. If they had paid agents. If they had paid agents. And if the agents were bought food to wait until the process is finished, mm. they disappeared before before the, the telling and all these things. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <laughs> well, by now, we needed to... They, they could be talking from facts. They say, IBC, this is what you did. But NASA, when we calculate, this is what each MCA, each member of parliament, governor, women rep, and everybody, and the presidency, these are the results. But they say, it is inside the something called uh, a server. Mm. Now they blame some let, imaginary things. I think we should be let, sincere let, let to one another. You, brother. And this mm. country is all of us. I need to help you. Mm. It is facts, figures, papers, and dates that the Supreme Court used to nullify President Uhuru's Kenyatta's last election. And you know, when agents from ODM and, and NASA brought their papers, and IBC brought theirs, the ones that IBC brought did not have the security features that Al Gurair printed. These ones were printed somewhere on River Road or Mombasa Road or wherever it was. That is how, you know, you, know, you talk as if the election was nullified because some of the papers did not have security features. Papers not having security features only proved that there were some that came from outside the system. When we say an election has to be transparent, it means when President Uhuru Kenyatta votes at Mutomo Primary School, he should be able to see his votes being counted at the constituency tallying center. He should be able to see that total at the constituency tallying center being added at Bomas of Kenya mm -hmm. so that any voter, me included, is able to trace his vote from the beginning to the end. I should be able to watch news at one and are being told already 10% of registered voters have already voted. That did not happen. When we know very well the Kiam's kit is set 
to give water turnout every one hour. And on 28th of July, IEBC chairman promised that he would be giving uh, voter turnout every three hours. He did not do that. The only reason why he did not do that, he wanted this thing to be as opaque as possible so that at any given time he can pop up. <laughs> this is the only election where I have seen the voter turnout reduces as people continue to vote. It starts from 48, it goes to 34, <coughs> then ends somewhere at 33, then in the final end it's 38 again. But let me that ask kind of nonsense cannot be accepted by <laughs> any self-respecting court in anywhere, including <laughs> Somalia. So what <laughs> Mwishimua Owidi, uh, <laughs> Jeff, how does this class Mwishimua Owidi, on 26, did you vote Mwishimua? 20 what? On 26. I on voted two. very beautifully. 20, mm. On 26. Not 26 to 8th. Why would I vote on 26? Then why, are you, why are you following details? Yeah. I wonder you don't want to participate, but you are following details. It was 48. <laughs> <laughs> Let you me tell be you. sincere with yourself. No, one of the reasons why you brought that time and uh, put it into some good use oh. looking for money. Let right? me tell you something you have never known. Yes. And I expect you to have learned this. <laughs> the reason why NASA said there will be no election 26 and they would not participate. We wanted to tell you that you don't have numbers even when you don't have competition. Because when we let you to do it, you actually got 20% of the total votes cast in Kenya. That is not enough for you to win anything if you have a formidable opponent like Raino Dinka. You can't. But you have to be in it to participate in it. To win it. If you're not in it, yes. you're out. We, were just, we wanted to demonstrate and you you got seven the votes Uhuru Kenyatta can get in this country. Mm -hmm. Cannot make him president unless he forms a tag team with IEBC. And we have the facts and the figures <laughs> that on 26th, uh, Raila Amolo Odinga got 70,000 around there. My brother. So there were Kenyans who, who did it. And the other Kenyans that we are saying, don't think they were all from, 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 uh, from NASA, that they did not vote because of other fatigue, repeat elections. Don't, uh, not everybody who comes out. So let, let's not to one another that the, the other bulk of people that they did not vote they were all Nasarians. Are they Nasarians or Rizi 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 <laughs> They are not but they listened yeah. to NASA. Yes. <laughs> not about listening to NASA. There are some people who did not go. Gentlemen. They, yes. Okay. Great. What if there is no case for the Supreme Court? Let's say, you know, we're looking at scenarios. If there is no case, what happens going forward? What will happen is this. In other words, if there's no threshold of any case. No, if, if there's no case in the Supreme Court, I believe and I know Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto are so determined to get sworn in, they would do anything to do that. And so, having been in the seat of power, having the influence they do, they will be sworn in. But I can tell you, they will have to come to the table at one point or the other. Let me ask you this and again, uh, Moshimiwa. Yes. Uh, uh, NASA elected officials will they have to resign from the National Assembly from from being MPs from being senators from being governors Why? if they're going to join the people's assembly you, they can be in the people's assembly and the National Assembly why what is wrong with that <laughs> and they don't have to be the ones I can be in the people's assembly I'm not an elected leader as of now I can be in the people's assembly and we can tell you how to govern from there when you take a matter to the assembly, you debate it and have your partisan ruling that is, uh, in, who, that who? is informed by the tyranny of numbers. We can also do ours and present to the people of Kenya that this is how we would have ruled if we were here. It will mark the difference. It will show that we are more serious governors than the one that is generated by computers. Now in Homer Bay, now yes. you'll, be, you'll be in the people's assembly. Now, let's assume you'll be the governor of the People's Assembly. No, no, and no, no, there no. is a city we'll sitting governor. National people's assembly. So, what will happen? You know, there are some of these things which are cooked when somebody is eating something which is not obvious, uh, available mm -hmm. in a menu. Mm -hmm. And it's very unfortunate, Mweshimiwa, when yes. you're talking about People's Assembly, mm -hmm. and you also go use the same, same constitution, mm -hmm. which it does not allow that. You're the same, same people who want to go to court, mm -hmm. yet you don't follow the same constitution. It's very unfair. It's being... Uh, it's, 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 it's being lying to yourself lying to thyself to this to the oneself it's very wrong it and i think uh, uh you've asked a very good question jeff and uh, how would you now being those people who are in the the mps the senators how would they go there and, and then they're still being paid by the government that they don't believe in it mm -hmm. and i wonder why they're still taking salaries and allowances and they needed to have boycotted that first I, I that I should be the first thing that could have been boycotted i don't so that people can see People can see that you're very serious. I don't think the work of a member of parliament is to believe in the government of the day. That is not it. 
one of it is oversight that government. And if you have an opportunity where your oversight efforts cannot get anywhere because some people were generated by some server somewhere, then you have to form a people's assembly. You know, you know Article 1 sub Article says the people can exercise their rights either directly or through their elected leaders. Or, so we have chosen to leave the elected leaders and get do it directly. But then ourselves. how effective mm. will these people be, Moishimiwa? Tell me, how, how effective? I said a statement here, I think you, you missed it. Mm. Let me repeat it. Mm. We are going to have the People's Assembly. As that assembly deliberates over issues, debates, and makes rulings, we will also do it here. The people of Kenya will judge which is the better of the two assemblies. That is what is important in politics. To get the people think highly of you. To get the people believe in you. Mm. To get the people believe you are the one who can lead this country better than who, the one who is sitting there. The one who is given five years to prove to Kenyans is the better leader. To give the Kenyans hope, to unite Kenya, to develop Kenya, then you waste the five years and come and generate results and tell us it is numbers that matter. Numbers cannot matter when they are generated from nowhere. Mm. They have to be seen to be the votes of an Odoyo Wedi somewhere in Nyaira primary schools yeah. that is counted at Oyugi's and then transmitted to Bomas. So you what have, is so difficult yeah. in revealing the content of the server of the 8th of August? You seem, what to, have, is so difficult? You seem to have no faith in the IEBC, Mwishmur. Not a single faith. But you see, IEBC <laughs> is under siege. You know, you know, you know Chebukati never left Bomas for, I think, four or five days to the countdown. Maybe because he, he was under guard. He could not leave. They thought he would run away <laughs> and put <laughs> things into... <laughs> you thought he would pull on a combi? Correct. And you, you remember... <laughs> 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 okay, yeah. Moshimua, and, and I'll get to you, Doctor, in a moment. But Moshimua, what is the point yes. of boycotting Safaricom, of what boycotting is... Brookside, of boycotting Bidco? Do you... How effective will that be? And yet, you are still, already asking. And how yet, you... they are receiving with their ODM number. They are still receiving the Mpesa. Mpesa payable number. It's still on even now. Try. It's still on. Ah, oh, Does it matter really? What matters, what? what matters is we are sending a message that we are the majority. We can decide to show you that if we boycott something, it actually comes to its knees. That's bullying. That is not bullying. In fact, I have already convinced everyone in Kenya not to call it economic sabotage. Would you it call is it? not. What do you want to it call is it? It's not economic sabotage. I explained to you what economic sabotage mm -hmm. is, did I? Mm -hmm. Yes. This one is trying to send a message. It is like picketing in the streets. It is like telling Safaricom, if you go into bed with a regime that is illegitimate, then we will also declare you illegitimate. So how long is that supposed to last, Moshima? It is going to last until people come to their senses and say, we are one Kenya, let's all sit down and talk and agree on the best way to govern Kenya. If we let this thing go this way, I can tell you, Jeff, you will be part of the people who will complain 2022 going forward because you will present a candidate, which I know you will present from those villages, and then <laughs> William Ruto being an expert in this system generation of results, he will generate his own results and he will be the president. After that, somebody else who has worked with him will come and generate his own results and he will tell you the others who are held. This one also must be held and it continues. We need a Kenya where you decide to be a presidential candidate. People vote for you and you become the president. Dr. Karanja, I'll ask you the same question. How effective can the boycotts be? Honestly. Uh, you know, Kenya is a, is a great country. And I remember one time Michael Joss said we have some behaviors. Peculiar habits. Peculiar habits. Yes. And uh, you can see even ODM itself, the NASA or the NRM, already they are starting showing those peculiar habits. They are saying <laughs> don't use Safaricom. And they are still continuing receiving M-Pesa. Uh, through an M-Pesa is Safaricom. And... Uh, they don't have uh, the strategy won't work because Kenyans, why are they not even asking anybody who believes in, in the resistance movement to resign from Safaricom? Because we don't want to, to, to say it is which tribe or eth ethnicize mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. but be it that you are a Kikuyu who believes in NRM or you are Jalo who believes in NRM, resign from Safaricom. And we would wish to see how many resignations we will get people who are boycotting. Then we'll see it is, uh, it is working. And you'll hear my friend here. 
Mheshimiwa Oido always continue to say you know I he is saying that he has defined the term economic sabotage and he is not defining it again he said i think he had said it somewhere very early in the morning and he's <laughs> not I'll, repeating I'll it, it again now. so that I'll we can be able to appreciate it. what is this question. thing yes. that it is called economic sabotage mm. and uh, I, i remember there was one clip which was going mutainguni de- defining uh, <laughs> economic sabotage what nasa means maybe it's not what it means throwing stones to safaricom building to any if they see any word equity they throw it if they see milk somewhere uh, brookside that have supplied milk they want to see out of stocks then they say uh, and brookside for the good systems they have milk it you consume and it is filled that's how production and business is done but someone was commenting <coughs> say oh i went i went i went to supermarket and i saw a lot of brookside that's business thriving then okay. they took it they took it on the negative said you see people have not bought but you need to have stocks for you to buy that's mm. business and i don't understand <laughs> this economic sabotage <laughs> yeah, yeah. defined <laughs> from you said in yellow sonda <laughs> whatever it is yes <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> you, you, you know you know you know i need to let him know mm. that if you walked into the supermarket a day after the boycott was announced and you find the product you didn't want to be bought full and the other shelves empty i don't need to tell you how to explain to you how to interpret that but i also want to tell you when you say you want to see nasa people resign from safaricom the boycott is not by employees it is by consumers get that one very right my brother so what we are doing now is not only going to work it is working because you go everywhere that is the conversation and as you continue conversing about it you are spreading the word and it is worsening by day let me tell you you you, you honestly think you can bring safaricom to its knees it is already Because, let me tell you what safaricom it's already fears it's most. already what safari <laughs> well let me tell you what safaricom fears most mm. a scenario where there is a credible competitor even if only 20% moves to airtel they already have a credible computer and this idea you are talking about i still receive information and use my safaricom that i still do but remember people like me are a very small percentage on those who use safaricom the people who use safaricom are those people i call and for them they only need a number to be called on they only need a number in which i can send to them mpesa so they can change their number anytime any minute i know right now there is the, the, there's something working out there that the, they are not allowing us to change uh, the service provider without changing the number mm. so that we stop changing mm. that i can tell you the majority of the subscribers are people who can change their number day and night and feel nothing about it <laughs> the people who feel everything about it you and me who sometimes your number is your id in the bank yes. to an, an online account somewhere mm-hmm. you will take a little longer to change but the masses there they will change like yesterday and they are the people you call so you love fewer people to call on safaricom than elsewhere a good discussion i, th- I think jalango and uh, jeff <laughs> and my friend here now we bought shares in safaricom we invested in safaricom kenyans did invest in safaricom then the resistant movement has come they want us to to make us poor Is that where they is that the canon they were discussing about? Is that where they want to take us? I think it's very unfortunate. And is and is Airtel Kenyan? Is yeah, not just uh, who has bought shares in 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 Airtel. We are now we are now getting it uh and that's what I'm saying sometimes we need to ask ourselves are we genuine to ourselves? Is it because of the political power we forget that we also have economic power? We also forget we have military power. There are five powers in the world that in it at any time think about economic power think about uh, military power think about uh, that political power religious power and academic power now i you look like somebody who's gone to school but i wonder mm. yes you went to school eh? somewhere eh? in those places jalango was just Saint talking mary's uh, but there's only one city mary you are told the what mary's <laughs> yala. yala yala the one of 1909 oh, yes mm-hmm. now tell him about and, jalango and, 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 and about all this then you are misusing your knowledge and understanding <laughs> for the gain of one power only yet you have another one here this political power you have only focused on it we have the other four types of powers then you are using this one to make kenya poor you there's even a vision for all of us vision 2030 i love you it when i give you opportunity to speak go on <laughs> my friend you are, you are, you are, you are, you're worried thank no, you no i've touched to where you belong ah, yeah. now let so me much. help you my brother where should we go these things you are telling me about economic power what power let me tell you When Kenya builds a 20 a 19th century SGR with a diesel engine and Tanzania which is many many places below our economic power 
builds a, an SGR that is electric powered that will go at double the speed stack containers four high and when we stack tack two and then you tell me that is not economic sabotage an SGR that costed us 327 billion and is bringing income at the rate of 1 billion per year times how many years can we even get so please get your economics correct and I appreciate this thing, what you're saying, and that NASA is using reverse psychology so that we can continue talking about. And I appreciate now we are marketing Safaricom more by talking about Safaricom. We are marketing Brookside Milk more. So no, when you talk about it, uh, when, when, when you talk, <laughs> does it matter? It's called reverse psychology. By the way, yes. does now you'll be able mm. to see, and I think we, we will do such a research and be able to see there'll be more consumption of Brookside Milk. People, maybe they never, this is free advert. By the way, does, you, you, you does Brookside own any cattle? Do they own any farms or do they buy from small scale farms? They buy from small scale, s scale so farms. So who's going to suffer the most? The, the poor Mananchi, which he says that they, they in the pocket. And I wonder how. You know, you know, Jeff, milk that is already at Brookside is already bought from the farmer. The farmer will now not supply his milk to Brookside. He will supply it to another milk packer who will pay them. So who's because Kenyans are already buying from that milk packer. M who, who's that other one? <laughs> Before you even go to the government, that also brings us to the question, how did Brookside amalgamate all milk packing <laughs> farms? <laughs> make a monopoly. <laughs> Please, these are the things we need to stop now because when you are given a position of authority uh. and you use it to suppress your competition, that is not acceptable. Let me tell you a story. Don't you see when, this when President to Kibaki, when President Kibaki came to power? Mm. When President Kibaki came to power, mm. there was a man called Muraria. Mm -hmm. He introduced, he removed taxes from all cables in, that are manufactured here, that are coming in. A lot of cables came from a place called China and the rest of the world. Then East African cables was almost collapsing. A company that is very favored by the government bought it for 600 million. The following budget, Muraria now introduced taxes on imported cable. And the government tenders were saying, we only need you to supply East African cable. This is when this company had bought it. A year later, the company was in the Nairobi Stock Exchange being sold partly at 300 billion. That is mischief in the use of powers in government. Those are the things that we must stop. So even bring, buying all milk companies and putting them together is mischief. So we are going to buy milk from KCC. And when we buy milk from there, we are going to build the nation of Kenya directly, not individuals. Okay, what was Bitco's beef then? Or the beef with Bitco? The beef with Bitco is Bitco is financing this very vote theft. That is bringing people who don't, you know, you know, when you are not elected by the people directly, and when you know you can be president without the vote of the people, you don't care how you govern the people. So you have evidence that Bitco is aiding or aided in. Let Bitco come out and defend themselves. They have that opportunity. Mwashimiwa, <laughs> who's next? Who will be next? People will be saying, <laughs> you probably will be next, you see? <laughs> you see? <laughs> For us. For roasting people who are going against the will of the people. But that's Kenya. bullying. At the end of the day, Dr. don't you agree? That's bullying because you'll be pointing out you, Jalang. Let, okay. uh. Let me explain to you bullying. Mm. When the constitution allowed Kenyans to picket and, uh, and, and, and demonstrate in the streets and you take guns and sentence them to death. You know, the Kenya police sentence more people to death in this country than the courts, even than the robbers. Kenya police. They in these days have resorted even to sentencing animals to death and executing them summary in the field and bringing nasty executions. When a policeman commits a crime in this country, the police tell us we are still investigating and they investigate until God comes or Jesus comes back. But you, when you commit a crime now, they will investigate when you are in custody. And if they don't like you, They'll go to Kamukunji police station and get some vagabonds who are arrested there in the day, throw them in that cell and tell them do anything with him. <laughs> that is what happens here. We must return Kenya to a democratic state with rule of law prevailing. Not one in which the government of the day does what he wants. We can't have a country where no independent body is truly independent. My worry, and when I listen to Mwishimiwa here speaking, mm. yes. I wonder if they were in power. Now they are not in power. They are behaving bully like this. What if they were in power? Is it? And you are talking about democracy. Do you want Will you not be happen? the most dictat dictatorial leadership what? that can never be seen in the world? 
Because already you're not in power. You're behaving as if everything you own and you're the one who directs what people should eat, should drink. And then here you are talking of something called free, fair elections. Who, where shall you win this free and fair? And already the perception which you already created, you are people who cannot be trusted with that power. If you don't have it and you're exercising it negatively, how would you be given even that power? Okay. So even if you're talking about 90 days or now, what if you are the one who was in power? Do you think even this issue of stealing uh, uh, elections would be there? If that's what you say, there's hmm. stealing of elections? I, I you would say there's no election. Mwashim, you want to continue Mwashim, by Mwashim, force. Mwashimua, real quick, uh, before yes. you answer, Daktari, yes. uh, someone was saying the other day on social media, yes. if uh, not the government, if someone, an individual, buys hmm. Kenya power, Right. Are you going to boycott that? Will NRM boycott if if you're not happy with that individual? No, no. It depends on what he does politically. We we don't have to be happy with him as an individual. If he's part of the political mess we are in this country, mm. we will do something. So, okay. Let me for arguments. Let's say Bitco buys Kenya Power, and you already have a beef with Bitco. What do you do? Let me tell you. Before we do any action. We go and sit down and see what will the result of our actions. If we know by just boycotting Kenya Power, we will not even be helping ourselves. We'll be helping them. We don't do that. We are very sensible people. But for, but for my <laughs> <laughs> this we, are boycott, glad we are intelligent people. No, no, you are intelligent, but you are misusing your intelligence. And Why? I think Tell me sometimes too much. Even in analysis, we say sometimes <laughs> it, it, leads, me it leads to paralysis. And this is what they are exactly doing. They're they too are, intelligent. They, they, they're no, they are not intelligent. They have missed the mark. You know, you know, there is, there, there's a book I need uh, them to go and read. Mm. It's called uh, Outwitting the Devil. But don't become the devil yourself. Oh. And, and I think it's very important. It was written by Napoleon. No, no. It, was, it was written by uh, Sharon Lecher, which is treated by uh, Napoleon Hill. Wait, I'm, I also speak. You know, I'm you, listening. You know, these things, these things you need when to I'm talk. moving my ear, next few minutes, I'm listening. Yes. <laughs> So it was written, it was manuscripted in 1938 mm. by Napoleon Hill, but later, because of where Napoleon Hill was working, uh, the wife of Napoleon Hill was working, uh, it was uh, orchestrated, uh, it was written now by Sharon Lecher. And uh, these are the things Napoleon Hill saw in 1938, that there shall come some people who will lie to themselves that they are intelligent in whatever they speak, and then they will confuse the masses only to see how they will get into power. And this is very unfortunate. They are breaking all the laws of the land and yet they want to be elected. And that's very unfortunate. And I think uh, we need now to start concentrating. What do we do in this kind of a mess? Okay. If we have one section which is continuing always to be boycotting. Yeah. So we need to add more energy to be able to become productive for yes. this country to continue and be able to take care of their mess because they are part of us. Mwishmua, which brings, uh, that's a really good point there, it brings us to what would what we asked at the very top of the show because we can't continue speaking at each other correct we have to speak to each other correct moving forward as a nation and we all want the same thing you both yes. mentioned we all want the same thing what do we do what's the advice if you were to sit down now with baba and president kenyatta what would you tell them let me tell you the reason for sitting down was to come up to agreement leading to free fair and verifiable election. Not one that is won by Raila Odinga or one that is won by Uru Kenyatta. One but that is won by the most popular candidate. But when you see one side who has the influence, why I say this side has the influence? I listened to Akombe very carefully. And out of all logic, Akombe was right 101%. I listened to Chebukati. And I also watched when Chebukati purportedly went to meet President Uhuru Kenyatta. You just see somebody subdued, somebody who is under siege, somebody who cannot act by himself but has to be directed. So if we were to talk, we were to talk about a free, fair and credible election. We cannot talk about anything else. We should not even think even about Nusumkate. It is a waste of time. Why it is going to be a waste of time? If you are to talk about it, you are going to talk about it after President Uhuru Kenyatta has been sworn in under the current constitution, which gives him all the power. So when you go to talk to him, you are going to talk to him to get for you a place in government, also to sit there and wait for five years as they bring in another Vifaranga via Kuku Kwa computer. So we, that is not going to work. Demanding peace so that uh, those people who have taken power can begin misusing power the way they have done before. That is not going to work. What is going to work is talking to have 
a fair election in 90 days. That is the only thing that will work in this country. You know, when a, when, when a people feel cheated, the anger in them rises. It reaches a level that you throw a punch even to a lion and feel nothing about it. So you want another That's election? Where you want an election in 90 days? Yes. But and that election must meet the basic minimum for a free and fair election. That is what I am looking for. And that is the only thing that will work. Short of that. But if you think that anybody will use the gun or the batons to subdue a people into peace, peace cannot be mistaken with silence. Peace is where you sing on the road going to work. You are happy. You smile when you go back home. When you see a position advertised by the government, you don't first think, am I alone? Will I really get this? You need a Kenya where people are treated equally on merit. Doctor, you get the last word. Yeah, thank you so much, uh, Jeff Jelang, and uh, for this opportunity. And I think it's high time that um, uh, we must think and continue discussing and listen to uh, one another carefully. Because uh, on the other side of the divide, and also as a country, when we are continuously talking about the presidency, there were six elections, and uh, why are we only talking about the presidency and the, the intent of our constitution when the changes were being done we were to, to reduce the powers of the president and focus. Uh, that was the purpose of devolution, the governors and all that. Does it mean, uh, are we sincere to ourselves when we are just concentrating on uh, only the presidency? And does it mean now after 90 days, after getting the presidency, we shall continue other 90 days in all the other elections? Uh, it's very unfortunate, and I think this is the time. We need to continuously pray for our leaders, particularly we continue praying for our leaders so that they can also give us guidance and uh, be able to talk further what do we need to do to the majority, 47. I always say Kenyans, we are not only 45 million, we are for around, by statistics done in February 20, 2017, we are around 47.9 million. How are we going to forge forward so that we can be able to again respect the law, respect one another, so that we can live together in this great country, so that we don't see the, these dark forces that are eating us? We must also appreciate and recognize what are the, these issues. There may be something sometimes happens in someone's life you cannot explain that we need to, to start thinking. Is there some dark forces which, which are, pu are, are pushing? Is there somebody who wants to sell guns that they are they're in dead stock somewhere? These are the things that we need to start. Is there spirited, uh, negative spirited forces that have come to our minds and what is happening in this country so that we can be able to forge forward? We have a country, all of us we belong to, and we all need to be fair to one another from whichever divide. Even when we are working at workplaces, we be like what we are doing here. Mm. We have Jalang, we have Owidi, we have Jeff, you have Karanja here. All of us we are together. We yeah. are happy. Why is it that when we come to politics, then we, we, it becomes heated as if we will not talk. And immediately here we will go out with the weedy. Mm. We shall go chanting, having fun. What do you think? What do you think? And we are friends. We get business we will do together and we will continue. But when it reaches to politics, when we go to, uh, to rallies, we are talking so negative as if we are not together. Yeah. We can see what the president uh, and, the, uh, and the, 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 uh, the former prime minister, Raila Odinga, they, they met in church. You see the handshake. Those people are friends. When they went outside, they were chatting. <laughs> yeah? But <laughs> Kenyans here, yeah. they are so tensed that uh, who is in resist, who is in resistance movement, and and there's so many things which are which are which are, which we lie to ourselves. You see the people who are wearing this resist T-shirt. They just wear and then remove them immediately. Then you wonder if there is, they could be wearing from morning till. By the day. way, the person who got that tender for those sh t shirts must be making a lot of money in caps. Eh? Yes. And there must be somebody within, within the same same. <laughs> Whoever's making those t shirts and caps is the biggest winner. Yes. Is the biggest winner. <laughs> yes. They're continuing making money. Correct. Yes. And also the person, and then maybe they have a deal with the person who, who supplies tear gas. How do you <laughs> they're, they're, they're Because, and, and that's why you hear every time they go to the, to the streets, they say, we can't go until we, uh, mm. we yeah, get some tear gas. Go on, it's real quick, it's real very quick. unfortunate. And we need to forge forward <laughs> and look positively. <laughs> how do we go to the next to the next level yeah. as a country together? Jeff, wow. do you really think the guy making racist t shirt is making more money than the one who printed Jubilee shirts? It's all relative. Maybe it's the same person. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yeah. where we are going today, mm. I also urge uh, NASA not to resist uh, Royal Media. It is serving this nation so well. Oh, thank that you. That is 
appreciated. I appreciate it. Despite the fact that many people out there who think the ownership is so is so jubilant, it's not. Yeah, in they fact, they were, they were beating our Francis Gashuri the other day. You know, I, I, th I think we need to look at that in, in, in the perspective in which it took place. You know, NASA organized a meeting. People who go there to see the meeting, to see the leadership, are not necessarily people in the register of NASA. Mm -hmm. They are not necessarily people the who are controlled by NASA. People when need... NASA comes out mm. to say that was a bad thing done, they would also help investigate and bring them to book. It tells you that they did not send them. So those people must be hunted down and taken to court, and that is the work of the police. Should we hold our breath? Yes. In fact, why the police has not arrested, I don't know why they have not been arrested, mm -hmm. because they were on cameras. Okay. Otherwise, uh, they are Kenyans. Yeah. We need to walk. Mwishimua Odoyo, Widi, Dr. Stanley Shege Karanja, thanks so much for your time, gentlemen. Thank you, my friend. And you yeah. are friends, which is the bottom line. It's fantastic to no, see. No, we are going for tea now. Huh? Yeah. We are going for tea. Who's buying? Deep <laughs> Spain. <laughs> Murkomen. <laughs> no, <yeah. laughs> my friend is broke, no problem, Mwishimua. I love you, bro. Mwishimua is broke. I'll, 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 I'll talk to you about it. How can I have money, but I will And that's why the, the bad thing is when you buy for them tea, yeah. Then they, 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 they become more angry. <laughs> no, <laughs> and why? And it's because we are working, we are not boycotting. Thank you, not gentlemen. Boycotting. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> bye, <laughs> bye, guys. Bye. Join the world of View Sasa Entertainment and enjoy the videos you love. SMS the word View Sasa to 40984. Choose your preferred package plan. Select the amount for your chosen package plan, then click next. View Sasa, connecting you to the videos you love. The Hot Breakfast with Jeff and Jelano. Thank you.